I ever tell you why I became a priest? Because of what you saw during the war. That... That was a lie. I became a priest because of what I did during the war. What it turned me into. When I was over there, crammed together with all the other disposable Negroes, all the hurt, all the rage I'd accumulated over my life came boiling up, and once it was out, well, you don't want to know. I doubt anyone's losing sleep over some dead Nazis. That's not the point. The men I killed, killing them should have meant something to me. Should have had weight, but it didn't. And glimpsing what was buried down inside me, it, it, it was too much. I know who I am. I know you do, son. And that's what terrifies me. Run! I don't know how you people live down here. It's hot, it's humid. Most of the time it smells like that goddamn river. It smells all right to me. You know what it is. It stinks of mud. Wet, rotten mud. It's been buried down deep for way too fucking long. And the Mekong Delta had that same goddamn stench. Hated it then, hate it now. So, what'd you find out? Franco Frank Pagani runs Tikfa Harbor. Reports up to Tommy Marcano, and he has a ship called the Tanager, which he uses to smuggle shit in and out of the city. For the past eight months, he's been making regular trips to Bermuda. What's in Bermuda? <laughs> Not a goddamn thing. He's really been going to Cuba. Marcano used to run the mob casinos down in Havana. My assumption is that Frank has been taking whatever is salvageable from the old casinos and bringing it back up here. That's a lot of effort to reuse some old tables and slot machines. There's gotta be something else going on. Yeah, unfortunately, we can't walk up to Frank and ask him. He's in Havana now, and he isn't scheduled to be back anytime soon. I mean, we gotta force him to change his travel plans. Frank's businesses are centered around stolen cars and freight. Look for places that'll support that kind of activity. Once you start taking them down, he'll come home. All right. I'll put a tap on the Coast Guard and let you know when the Tanager contacts them. So you the scary motherfucker who gonna deal with Junior Holland. Nice to meet you too, lady. Set it down. I don't mean anything by it. I'm Gina Kowalski. My old man and I used to boost cars with Junior before he decided to bring us and throw in with Marcano. I don't see your old man around. Died in the cell upstate around Eastern. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> he shouldn't have got caught. Junior's running cars out of the best old gas station around the way. Got some pros that come around with high-end rides. Hell, he even got a sideline bootlegging gasoline from the refinery. Where are the cars going? He sells some here, but knowing how many nice new rides going missing lately, I'm guessing Junior's getting ready to run a bunch in a shipment out of town. If he's got people out on the street, I'll get him to talk. Maybe even get word about the pros he's got working for him. See you around, Gina. It's all yours, boys. Yeah, with a Molotov. That little speed freak Junior stayed up out here. 
Didn't plan on doing any less. <laughs> an old friend with an ear out at the best oil? Say Junior come blowing through, making everybody's life a living hell. And he won't leave until he can get the business right. <laughs> Never heard of Junior Holland being so dang motivated. When you have to kick up to Sal Marcano, that'll light a fire into your ass. That and all the speed he's on. When you whip his ass, tell him he shouldn't have messed with Gina Kowalski. <laughs> I'll catch you later, Gina. We feeling good? But I don't know anything about stealing cars. Look, all of Junior's best boosters are either dead or gone. We all gotta pitch in. You wanna end up like them? Huh? We ain't alone. Huh? Nobody seen him? Shit. I'm walking! We got a man! Crossroads, Junior. You can come work for me. Or... Alright, fine. Now get the fuck off me. Sure thing. If we're gonna hold Tick for a harbor, I'm gonna need some of your guys. Okay, my friend. But don't be forgetting me for that next piece of real estate we acquire. After I was discharged, I wandered around for a couple, three months. Did some odd jobs. I got arrested once or twice for fighting. But I always kind of knew I was going into seminary. It just took a little while for it to sink in, I suppose. Once I was done with seminary, Bishop Jenkins sent me to St. Michelle's home for colored boys. <laughs> that orphanage was a pile of shit from the day I got there till the day I left. <laughs> but I loved it. <laughs> I loved having those boys. I think you've been waiting for me. Yeah, Pablo Duarte. You're with the company? Not exactly. That gonna be a problem? If you can help keep money from going to those communist bastards in Cuba, then no. You with the Cuban Revolutionary Council? I made it through that disaster back in 61. Ended up here. I still have connections, though. It's how Frank Pagani's smuggling operation got on my radar. His man. Pops Holland runs the freight yard, does a lot of business with Havana. <laughs> All that commie talk about common ownership is so much bullshit, it's sickening. Those hijos de puta only care about money. Since losing River Row, Pops has had to resort to airdrops. They move them around, so you'll have to find out where they're happening. I'm sure Pops' people will be more than happy to help me out. I'll be back, Pablo. The fuckers working for Pops Holland know what he's up to. You're gonna need to get at them. Hurry the fuck up. This is what happens if you lip off. Did he just shoot him? Huh? Run! Hey, bro! Hey! Do you see that? Over there! Come try killing me! Just give me uh, 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 My dog's gonna love violating your corpse. He's fucking dropping us! Get me out of here! He's taking out the whole team! We got ourselves again! This... Uh, uh, Get him on my back! A dead guy! Ah! Pops Holland's smuggling racket. I want to know about it. The drop's coming into the marina. Pissed off motherfucker named Butterbean runs the show over there. Nighty night, bitch. No 
Huh? Guess we put the field out. Ah! Ah! I say we tried that. Huh? Somehow managed to piss off both the communists and the gangsters. Word is, Pops Holland is seriously fucked thanks to you. Best way to make a crook squirm is to hurt his money. Huh, yeah. I heard Frank Pagani told Pops to get his ass back to the freight yard. Pops isn't going anywhere until you're dealt with. I understand he's a hard motherfucker. He's a survivor. Thanks for looking out, Pablo. But I dealt with a lot worse than Pops. <laughs> Hope I'm not out of line here, Pops. But we shouldn't be working with those communist fucks. Ah, uh, that money's a that is <laughs> Work for me, and I'll let you keep doing what you're doing. Okay, fine. I'll work with you. Real happy to hear that, Pops. Can you spare some of your crew to hold tick for? All right. I just picked up this call between Mr. Frank Pagani and Tommy Marcano. The first voice you're gonna hear is Frank's. The fuck you mean it's gone? He came in and killed everybody. Christ, what a goddamn mess. I never seen Sal so pissed. You gotta get your ass back here like right fucking now. Sal's pissed. What about me, huh? Down here busting my ass, and now I have to deal with this shit? I told you I'd take care of you, and I stand by that. When you're back in town and things calm down, I'll make it right. Yeah, well, you fucking better. Boat's taking off here in a few minutes. I gotta finish up with some things. Then I'll fly back when I can. I checked with Vessel Traffic Services, and they're expecting the Tanager to arrive any time now. Frank's a slippery bastard, so I have no idea where he'll end up once he's back in the city. His car is on the Tanager, though. And from what I hear, he loves that goddamn thing. So if I can get onto the boat and plant this, I'll be able to track wherever he goes. It's the same model we use against the Soviets. It has a mercury-based trigger. Once you see the signal, just follow it. After I put this onto his car, we'll take apart the rest of his district. No sense in leaving any loose ends. I'm sure Frank will appreciate your thoroughness. <laughs> I challenge this rank to a race for pink slip. Guess we should check. Score. Get 
settle now. Holy sh! Take him down! Give me a hand! Grabbing some cover! Shit! He has been pinned down! I got a hit from the device you put on Frank Pagani's car, which means he's back in town. <laughs> bet he's pretty excited to make your acquaintance. I bet he is. <laughs> Signal's clean so you can take it from here. Just use the tracker I gave you. Catch you later. Looks like the place. Hey. See if you still got skills, Frank. God damn, Sal. This is all he's fucking doing. Got his head so far up his own ass. Mr. Pagani, you can't be talking like that about Mr. Marcano. Listen here, kid. Oh. My daddy robbed banks for 20 years. Taught me two things. You never snitch, and you stay loyal. But staying loyal is the thing that's gonna catch dead for us both. Oh. By that boy right there behind us. You saying I shouldn't be loyal to you? What? Hell yeah, you stay loyal to me. I'm not the fucking problem. I just don't see how we get free of this. Don't you worry about that. I gotta figure it out. Just focus on shooting. Boy knows how to shoot. Uh. Fuck! Reload! Uh. 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 I never did anything to you. Saw some interesting stuff back there. Counterfeit money, a press. Only thing I can't figure out is a connection to Cuba. Please. I'm all busted up inside. I need a doctor. I got a wife and three little girls. Hey, you want a doctor? Then you better tell me something worth hearing. Listen. What you saw, Sal set all that up. None of the money was worth a shit, though. They had me bring in a man named Alvarez, counterfeiter who works for Castro. He give you the plates, too? Plates? I thought you knew, on account of the robbery. Robbery? <laughs> Marcano wanted the plates from the Federal Reserve. How do I find Alvarez? Well, one of Tommy's guys picked him up. It was 10, 15 minutes before you showed up. Where are they taking him? Uh, Where? Huh? My little girls. No. I spent the last 48 years pursuing Lincoln Clay because he's a criminal. It's horrible what happened to him, but you know something? I think that when Sammy, Ellis, and Danny Burke were killed, it revealed who Lincoln Clay really was, a monster. Perfect timing. Go on and break it down for us. I'm done with Frank Pagani. Poor bastard's not gonna be running anything through Tickfall Harbor again. It's our territory now. All I see is myself do the dirty work. Like how I'm securing both rockets for you now. But when it comes to doling out the auction, you seem to forget my fucking name. Correct this now, lad. Everybody's got their play, brother. But the truth is that I'm the one you called on to run the last territory. So all that racket shit aside, you know I can handle the day-to-day -day better than anybody else here. Maybe I missed the call or something, but I didn't even know you were working that part of the city. This turf's going to the Irish. Oh, 
Fucking hell. You're smarter than your goddamn luck, lad. Yeah, I get it. I'm the Yankee motherfucker from Empire Bay. But twice in a row now you cut me out. Just keep in mind, you do that to your own detriment. Guess we'll see how the next one goes. All right, that's it. We're done for now. Look, I gave you some names, and I'm paying you to chase them down, so don't give me any of that bullshit. Yeah, okay, just get it done. Christ, sometimes I think you want something done right. You all right? The nighty. Sammy was so happy. Happier than I ever seen him. That money was supposed to get him, get all of us out from under Marcano. Motherfucker! What the hell did Frank tell you? Marcano had us rob the reserve so he could get his hand on a set of money plates. Georgie must have grabbed him during the robbery. I should have been paying attention. We already had this conversation. None of this is your fault. It's like hell it isn't. Sal is a cancer. A leech. He had always intended to fuck all of you. Christ, look what he did to Vito. He murdered your family. The only way to make that right is by killing every cocksucker who's ever looked at that piece of shit. Give me some of that bourbon. According to Pagani, Marcano couldn't print the money himself. So he had a Cuban counterfeiter named Alvarez brought in. What do we know about South Downs? Tommy Marcano isn't the kind of guy who shits where he eats. So his rackets are pretty low key. He runs a sports book and has a place where he stores his contraband. Tommy's got to know that I'm coming after Alvarez, so he's probably got him holed up in or near one of those places. One way or another, I'll get my hands on him. I'll be damned if I let Marcano print a single fucking dollar from one of those plates. Assume you're still publishing that rag of yours. If it bleeds, it leads. And with you out there doing what you're doing, Christ, can't print copies fast enough. You have something for me? Whores. You want high-end whores in the French ward? You go to Handsome Harry Rubber Show, Lou Marcano's hand-picked man. Probably a safe bet that Lou funnels all his VIPs Harry's way. You like to fuck? Harry's the man you want to see. He's got it all covered. Hookers on the corner, porno shoots, and if you got the money, he'll let you live out your sickest fantasies. Usually a good idea to cut off the big money first. Heard an asshole like Harry right out of the gate. <laughs> I can see the headlines now. New Bordeaux's Blue Bloods cotton sex scandal. Or maybe the city's dark, perverted heart. I'll see what kind of information I can get out of Harry's people about the operation. And the high rollers. You're gonna tell me all about the plow house. The boss has some VIP customers coming in. Sick fuckers who like to hurt the girls. I can tell you where they're gonna be. My crew will be in touch. Hey, there's no getting away, boy. Jesus, please come. What about little Steve? Huh? Call an ambulance. Shit. No. No. You're gonna tell me all about the plow house. <laughs> the boss is throwing a little fuck fest for the deep pocket types. There's supposed to be a lot of money at the door. You work for me now. Mm, you don't mind, Ollie. It's looking at you. I prefer it. Don't you, baby? Hell's now that you mention it, uh, Got a mad dog right here. we give these people a show. Huh? Now stop it. Oh, oh, man. Did you see that? I tried to smoke it in but, mind. but nothing came out. Oh, oh, I can come up with a few things. Oh, huh? It happened so fast. What time you get off? The Legion. Ah. Ah. that sound. Ah. Hey, what? He's fucking dropping him! Keep me shot! Help! Cool. 
luck. Shot him. Bitch just caught a bullet. Heat and air conditioning. Put that gun away. I can't get my hands. You're embarrassing yourself. You win. Open it, I with them downstairs. Out of the way. That does not. They don't see me. What? Oh! Sorry, Jesus. Sounds like sounds like handsome Harry's a little agitated. Apparently, even his clientele can't get their jollies while being shot at. Is he back at the plow house? He prefers to call it on Bell Jardin after the flower shop it's attached to. But yeah, he's there. Probably wishing he had a tit he could cry into. <laughs> you a sick motherfucker, Carly, but thanks for the help. Honey, but sometimes... Oh, got us a goner, sucker! Ah! Gonna call for help! Take him out! Gonna... Got targets on me in the ward! to me now. Understood? Well, whatever you say, man. Whatever you say. Smart man. Get your man over to the French ward. I need backup to lock this down. No problem, pal. Help is on its way. It took me months to figure out that Lincoln had survived the massacre at Sammy's and was waging a war against Sal Marcano. The Bureau didn't have a file on Clay, and I wasn't aware of his military training because his service records were classified. Otherwise, I, I might have started to connect the dots after the death of Richie Doucette. You Big Jim? Detective Jim McCormick. All right, Detective. I heard you have a problem with Marcano's drug operation in the French ward. Boy, it's this whole city's problem. His man, Doc Gaston's burrowed down like a fucking cockroach, pumping the whole city full of poison. Where's Doc Gaston operate out of? If I knew that, I'd have him in a cell. Biggest goddamn pusher in the city, and no one knows a fucking thing. The name Sal Marcano tends to do that to people. Fuck Sal Marcano. Best lead I've got is that one of Gaston's suppliers is coming to town. Gonna meet with one of Gaston's people. I can't get any closer, but your friend says you're good at getting information out of people. <laughs> I'll see what I can find out. Uh, you're gonna know. tell me about Doc Gaston's I'll operation. We got a fucking ton of shit coming in by boat. I'll tell you where. You answer to me. Boys. Taking my shot! Taking cover! Ah, Jesus Christ! Yeah, it's shot that grenade! Think fast! <laughs> grenade! Don't look back. 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 Don't look
Way. All are welcome. As <laughs> long as you behave. You're gonna tell me about Doc Aston's operation. The boss's bag men are out collecting. They always take the money back to a stash house somewhere. You can thank me later. Ah. Hey, look. Don't you know your dick? I'll <laughs> pal. This is not fucking bold well. Hey, who this guy? About a lot of dead dealers, the ones that are to finally talking, saying Doc got stones in the system beneath the Big Mouth Jazz Club. You're not gonna try to convince me to let you arrest him, are you? If I wanted to arrest him, I wouldn't have let you be a part of this. Justice might be blind, but it shouldn't be stupid, too. Go do whatever it is you're gonna do. Sure thing, detective. Better not point that over here. What? God damn, you put a see the load of dope that just came in. Rippling infinites converge. Smoke fires boiling under the earth. Copperhead lady uh, walking barefoot. In the mail on before the among us of the dead. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, ma'am. Oh, Your sorry. Brother was an ass. The mad children, the naked oh. ones, idiotic, oh, magnificent. Sorry. They take her by the hand. Served, uh, yeah. Yeah. You ever put on a uniform? That you could be fucking. Huh? Huh? Would you watch it, please? Ooh. I'm a dying wish that I go under the ground. Street oh, off the street. Walking barefoot. He takes her by the hair. Yeah. Oh. Get out of here. For the oh. golden dawn. What? Awake. What a strange. I'm just something. Just gotta hide. I'll get the boys down here. Run, Raven. Shit. He's picking us off. Set up here, Doc. Sign with me, and I'll let you keep it going. All right, man. I'll work with you. Someone will be in touch. Give me some of your men. We're locking down the French war. Good deal. You're making the right call, no question about it. John Donovan and Lincoln Clay embarked on a campaign of urban destruction this country hadn't seen since the Civil War. I got a name for your judge. Cornelius Holden. He just made a call to Lou. Knock your works up. I barely avoided that lunatic, Lou. And I pay me enough to come stop me right there, Cornelius. Never know who might be listening in. You need to get this shit out of control here. Because until you do, your brother's case isn't going anywhere. There's no call for that kind of talk. I'll send over a call. A couple of my best men. 
Cornelius is 60. The dipshits of this state first elected him to the Fifth Circuit in 1951. There's something else you should know. Those two men are Lamont Harris and Trey McCall. They were killed by a man named Hollis Dupree. Yeah, I heard he gunned them down when they showed up to his house asking for help. Hollis claims he was in self-defense, said he thought they were there to kill him. Cornelius is the judge that's presiding over the trial. So killing him might kick up a lot of noise. <laughs> Cornelius is an entitled southern asshole. Killing him is gonna do a lot more than kick up some noise. Hopefully, it'll send a message that it's long past the time that those cocksuckers went extinct. That's the car down there that Lou is talking about. That thing armored? I pulled the work order for it. It's a complete custom job. Tough as hell. It'll take a pounding, but it won't be impossible. Cornelius is scheduled to leave any time now, so this is your window. You follow a set route? Not since the trial started, but he still makes a stop or two on the way home. So, you can either hit him then, or go after him when he's driving around. All right. And watch out for the cops. I need some of my party favors. You know where to go. What are you waiting for? Go! Go! Fucking entitled. Get in. You've got a boat to catch. You want to hear Marcano tear Uncle Lou a new one? Lou Marcano was bribing a district judge named Cornelius Holden, is that correct? Sal Marcano spent a lot of money getting Holden in his pocket. A lot of money. Judges like that don't come cheap. And with Holden out of the picture, Sal had to find someone else to legalize gambling. And that person was State Senator Walter Jacobs. That's right. You had one fucking job, Lou. That was to keep holding him one goddamn piece to left in that room. What was I supposed to do? He wouldn't listen, Sal. It ain't my fault. Ah, uh, nothing's ever your goddamn fault. I swear, if you wasn't my brother, I'd clip you myself. Now listen here. I know a guy, a state senator named Jacobs. He's on the Revenue and Fiscal Affairs Committee. <laughs> Has a lot of influence. Can we get to him? Already have. He has a thing for fucking on women who ain't his wife. I don't want to twist this guy's balls out of the gate, you understand? We need to be smart about this. Yeah, 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 of course. Uh, how about I throw him a fundraiser on the riverboat? Show him a real nice time. Get him laid. All that shit. This goddamn casino got me tapped, you understand? This goes down to shit or we're fucked. All of us. Well, I'll pick the guests myself. Make sure they know what's what. Then we'll take a nice long cruise down the bayou, get them all liquored up. Once he sees that payday, Jacobs is gonna do whatever we want. <laughs> Lou Marcano knew everyone. I mean, politicians, merchants, lawyers, bankers. He insisted on being called Uncle Lou, and was basically the Santa Claus of the French ward. According to the police reports, Mr. Marcano and Mr. Jacobs were killed during a fundraiser on a riverboat. The thing about the bayou is it's a very big place. You could blow the living shit out of everything in sight and no one would even notice. <laughs> Ready to go when you are. Assume you already mapped out where the riverboat's gonna go. Lou's pretty fastidious about that kind of thing. Always follows the same path when he goes cruising through the bayou. Doesn't want anything to happen to his beloved Delphine. <laughs> gonna be the least of his problems. You recon the area? There's an old coal dumper that they have to sail past. I've already got it rigged to blow. You just need to connect the primer cord to each block and then set it off. Detonator's down by your feet. All right. Isolate and kill. Lincoln Clay's specialty. What's wrong? Eh, it's the boat thing, isn't it? Not saying it is, not saying it ain't. <laughs> you need to get over it. You were on what, 40, 45 PBRs in country? 52. That's not the point. You don't know what it's like to get onto a boat knowing full well the damn thing's gonna sink? It gets old, man. Look, you blow the coal dumper, boom, it hits the boat. Then you jump on board and kill Lou and those other assholes. 
50-50, you don't even get wet. 50-50? Well, 40-60, but still. 30-70 at the worst. Upstairs. You'll fan out. Watch the rest of the boat. This sure ship wasn't an accident. Fuck is mine! Oh, 
lizard way you die. Cover my ass. I'll set the Gotta move! Huh? Get ready, boy. You couldn't have gotten far. I'll find a bastard. Look who I found. He's taking out the whole team. Can't fucking move. I can't fucking move. Gonna take more than you to hoit me. From the other side! <laughs> Keep that cocksucker pinned down! The boy ain't going nowhere. Fuck us empty, let him have it. We're having some cover. Get him up, fuck. We got a score to settle now. In my sights. You wop asshole! What the fuck, Lou? Take another step, me bitch. Can you think I give a shit about some politician? Please, please, I, I don't even know what's going on. I don't want your money. I want you to send a message to your brother. Yep. Anything. Oh, just say it. You just say it. <laughs> Lord Almighty. explosion aboard a riverboat. Local businessman Louis Marcano also lost his life, along with dozens of other wealthy donors there to attend a political fundraiser. When Lincoln left his gutted body on a statue commemorating Andrew Jackson, people were horrified. I mean, how could that be anything but a political statement? Yeah. Goddamn motherfucking piece of shit! Lou's dead. They found him tied to that statue of Andrew Jackson over the French ward. He was gutted like a goddamn catfish. Jesus Christ, Pops. Uh, I... This was that goddamn nigga, Lincoln Clay. We wouldn't be in this fucking mess if you'd done what you were supposed to do. You were there. I shot him right in the head. Once! Was a... You shot him once! Son of a bitch! Oh, this is just what I fucking need. Holden's dead. Jacob's dead. Christ, without them, this casino isn't going anywhere. Unless I can figure something out. Well, what about the governor? What about him? Wasn't he into us a while back? 
What for them hookers? Yeah, but he paid all that off. But I still got the pictures. It's gonna take more than pictures of him humping on some broad to swing him around on our side. You understand? A lot more. Always call Leo Galante. No, 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 no. Fuck him. The whole reason I'm building this goddamn casino is to get out from under them worthless fucks. I bring in the commission, they're gonna wanna cut everything. God damn it. Go on, get the hell out of here. I gotta make a call. Leo! Yeah, Sal! <laughs> How the fuck are you? Yeah, listen, I got something I need to discuss. I tried to reconcile the part of me that helped Lincoln with the part of me that vowed to follow the teachings of Jesus Christ. But I can't. You know what I remember? I remember watching the news and learning they had gunned down Dr. King. I remember watching people lash out, riot, because that's all they had left. All the while, Lincoln's in the other room, barely clinging to life. Maybe that's why I did what I did. Hey, uh. Come on in. This city's gonna learn that their dear old Uncle Lou didn't die out there in the swamps when his riverboat sank. And when Lou dead, Sal's gonna be scrambling to figure out his next move. Meanwhile, we're gonna take control of the plow house, the cistern, and all the drinking and fucking in the French ward. My guys are working the action here just like you asked. I figure you called us in for a reason. I also figure you ought to just keep us there. Shit, son. I could have secured those rockets as well as anyone. Probably better. You chose me to run the day-to-day -day for the last piece of the city. And I expect to be running it here as well. So that's where you were? All right. Well, if you want to send it our way, we'll keep it running and making money. Gonna need Vito to run this turf. You are one brilliantly decisive motherfucker. If you already know which way you're leaning when you walk in, just fucking say it. And stop wasting my goddamn time. All right, so if we done, I'm gonna go. We'll talk later. Get on out of here.